organization has to have to projects? Well, no, because I mean. That's really my family because my real family doesn't love me. Okay. Now listen, just because they make her live in the garage with the three pit bulls, that's not a reason to say that your family doesn't love you. The fact that you have to share their food, that might be an indicator. Okay. Anyway, the fact that you are their food, definitely your family hates you. Um, there's a, uh, that's the Michael Vick family. It's okay. There's the uh, Michael Vick no, family he's values. Okay. No, he's, he's playing football again. It's okay. Uh, yeah, oh yeah, it, it's all good. Uh, today at 1.40, we're going to, we have to be in um, Ms. Beebe's room. Um, she asked us, and just us, to come for a performance. And I'm not sure what they're putting together for us. Um, but I'm not used to seeing musical performances that don't have like Al and Benny and and, me. and uh, Calvin and, and Hayden and Matt and Drew and God, Tyler. Yeah, really? Think about that. How many times have I seen you guys perform this year? Um, and then last year yeah. and the year before. Uh, anyway, it's all good. Al is a sixth grader. A trail of clothes wherever she went. Ooh, that was pretty funny. Um, anyway, there's. There's, come on in, Katie. What are you doing? And Haley. Haley, what? Um, Sam comes at 517 Monday. Monday, yeah. Cool. So it's on Edline, too. So if you check Edline, it's kind of. Watch uh, magic. Yeah. And it's all good. Uh, today, you've got 517, it's going to be due Monday. Let me show you how to do the front end, okay? Uh, the index part. Because people have been trying to give me discs that just have. Oh, the power just went out. Um, they just have the, um, the projects on there, and that's confusing because some of the projects, uh, the images were just listed as you know IMG with a number behind it and things like that, and that's confusing as heck. There's a way because listen, guys, whenever we perform, we perform for what? An audience, right? Okay, and the audience in this case is an audience of one, and it's the most important audience you have, and that's me. And when you guys are performing, it's kind of nice to to show the performance here. Let's go to the front here. Um, this, this is kind of a, just an example. Very, very plain Jane. This is PowerPoint, simple stuff. Okay? Um, the same PowerPoint we used in here, the one that's like 10 years old. Okay? If I click on Paper Toys, bam, that gets me to my Paper Toys project. These were done by uh, Lauren's brother. Okay? He did a really nice job. He's got the White House, he's got the Statue of Liberty there somewhere. Uh, unless somebody's still there. It is. Um, he's got the Brooklyn, nicest Brooklyn Bridge I've ever seen. You know, when I was in New York, I bought this. Uh, it was only $2,000. Um, there's a, no, it's great, man. I'm going to start charging people to go over it now. I figured I'll make a million. Uh, anyway, White House, very cool. When I was in D.C., I bought this too. <laughs> Who knew? Okay. Anyway, Statue of Liberty, I tried to buy it, but the guy that was selling it, he wasn't there then. The, uh, but I talked to some really nice policemen who said he'd be back. Um, anyway, um, good stuff there. So there's the project. Now, with you, there was a little extra part to doing the paper toys, and that was you had to do what? Who, what, what, what. Uh, tell the five W's, who, what, when, where, what, um, about them. So here's, here's the first one, and then uh, let's see. We go back. Uh, models. Um, Andrea Fenninger. Oh, my gosh. Okay. Uh, you won't be seeing her for the rest of the year. She's been suspended for bringing weapons to school. But um, she did a really nice job. Okay, with these products. What? Come on, I'm not supposed to. Come on. Um, you had to turn her in. Exactly. Sorry, Andrew. You get an A for the project, but you're suspended for the rest of the year. Okay. Um, she also has to go to counseling. Anyway, there's a. You know, I wonder if they really would do that to her. I've been afraid. You know, because. Anyway, um, here is uh, Colt, and this was uh, something that was issued to officers in the North, and she explained all that kind of things. Um, she is not going to do the picture thing for hers. She has made videos 
with her standing there showing the weapons and explaining the weapons as she goes along. Um, and in her video, she also included parts showing her actually making these. These are really cool stuff. And uh, when you get a really close look at it, you notice, um, nice job, okay? Especially with this one. She actually had to use a lathe to make this uh, come out. You know what a lathe is? You take a piece of wood, it starts spinning, and then you move um, uh, a, 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 a blade. Uh, a blade, what do you call those? Uh, Jeez, come cutting, on here. cutting tool. A cutting tool, yes. The cutting tool has a name. God, it's kind of like, well, they, you know what? There are knives that you can use to do the lines, okay? But they use uh, just, jeez, come on. Like, like, it's like chisels, okay, that they move right across. Anyway, she did the lathe action. It moves up and down. It's pretty accurate. The only thing it's missing is a bucket on the front. And she points that out in her little production, uh, saying that the bucket would have been used with the ramrod because you clean it out and that cools it off and it takes all the, the grunge from the, um, the um, uh, barrel of the cannon. Okay, and this was a cannon. She said it was designed to shoot six pound balls. So she actually, you know, went out of her way and did the, the nice little background on that. But anyway, that's the story here. But for the sake of just um, making this work, um, there's another example there. Um, more stuff. You can add just about anything, especially with the newer versions of PowerPoint. Newer versions of PowerPoint, you can even include uh, flash uh, elements and things like that. Okay, but. Um, there are some things that just don't lend themselves all that well to, um, to PowerPoint, which is Google SketchUp. One second, and I'll call on you a second, just uh, Tyler. Um, so you can take a screenshot, yeah, okay? And everyone knows how to do a screenshot, right? Maddie, do you know how to do a screenshot? God, who doesn't? You all know how to do screenshots? Oh, excellent, Matt. Okay. Um, a screenshot is what, Calvin? Print screen. Yeah. There is a key that people look at and they say, print screen, that doesn't make sense. Okay. In the old days, when we were sitting at uh, uh, big terminals, okay, <laughs> when we were sitting at terminals, <laughs> oops, uh, when we were sitting at terminals, we had uh, print screen. I'm just going to hit the print screen on this one, okay, and then um, I'm going to go to a new one here, and then I'm going to go to, uh, let's see, edit and uh, paste. And boom, there's a print screen of that screen. Oh, okay. funny. Kind of it's a print screen, screen awesome. of the print screen. We need to go deeper. <laughs> we need to go deeper. Oh my gosh. So then you can make a print yeah. screen of the print screen. Uh, Bam. So I'm there. Yeah, we could do that. I, I didn't do nothing there. It just drive everybody crazy. Okay. Uh, so, anyway, guys, that's how you add those kind of things. Um, going back up to the front, um, this is really simple. All I did was highlight. Um, I had all my. Um, slides that I, that I wanted to make uh, part of the index already in place. I went to insert, I went down to hyperlink, and when you click on hyperlink, you get a really neat screen that comes up, and the hyperlink screen is, it's going to default into this, okay, don't freak out, you just place in this document, and then um, you go along, and now you can choose whatever you want to, so we can do to slide six, click OK, and then now we've changed it. And now it goes to nothing. Slide six. Right. So anyway, that's the story with that one. So um, little things to remember. When you're doing this kind of stuff, okay, um, it is, uh, do I want to say changes? No, I don't. Um, it's always good to remember that you have to do what? You always start out with, and we can start a folder. It's always a resource <laughs> folder. Okay, and I lost it. Now it's on the left. PPT? Yeah, where'd it go? Right next to the uh, arrow. Oh, there it is. Uh, here, is, here it is. Here is the PPT. Um, there is my PowerPoint folder, uh, uh, PowerPoint presentation rather. Here are my pictures that I used. And um, hey guys, this is important. When you're saving your PowerPoint that you're going to use as your index, make sure that everything's in the same folder. Just copy that folder. Pop that right on the disk. I can open it up and I can find the thing that we, and I called it index. You can call it what you want. Index is really good because an index says go here and you can use the index. And um, we can double click on that, it's going to fly open. Okay, I can click on this, and boom, we know where we're going. Simple, simple, simple stuff. And most people don't use PowerPoint that way. Now, a second thing, okay, when